Are you curious about the state of the real estate market in May 2023? In this video, we're going to look at the key housing market metrics and walk through relevant narratives around the national housing market right now. Here's a quick summary. TLDR The housing market is cooling in the near future. Inventory remains at record lows and forecast remains low, but it is growing. Buyers are facing less competition. Interest rates are rising, but prices are as well. Affordability is eroding for buyers, while sellers will see fewer offers per property and are less likely to sell above asking. Hello Central Kentucky. This is the Century 21 National Residential Real Estate Market Watch for May 2023 brought to you by Century 21 Simpson & Associates. Now, let's dive into the latest data and trends on where the national residential real estate market is today. March 2023 Months Supply of Inventory, 2.6 Months Months supply of inventory is well below three months again. Home sales are trying to recover and are highly sensitive to changes in mortgage rates, said National Association of Realtors Chief Economist Lawrence Yun. Yet, at the same time, multiple offers on starter homes are quite common, implying more supply is needed to fully satisfy demand. It's a unique housing market. Over the past decade, the average month's supply of inventory was 3.9 months. March 2023 was 33% below that. As a reminder, six months of inventory represents a balanced market, favoring neither buyer nor seller. With 2.6 months supply of inventory, the market continues to favor sellers strongly. March 2023 inventory, 980,000 unsold homes. The actual number of unsold homes on the market remains below 1 million but is up from white-hot levels last year. When sellers have an ultra-low rate locked in, it's often a large psychological and financial hurdle to give that up for a rate that's twice as high. This further fuels the lack of available homes instigated by the underproduction of new homes over the past decade. However, there will always be reasons that sellers need to sell, even with high interest rates. Rental rates have eased some, due to a boom in multifamily construction. This may temporarily ease a little bit of the pressure buyers have felt as they are able to find suitable and affordable rentals as a reasonable alternative to purchasing. March 2023 Existing Home Sales, 4.44 million While the seasonally adjusted rate declined month over month, the actual raw number of homes sold increased by 34%. As interest rates temper and consumers grow more accustomed to the reality of higher rates, sales may increase. Nadia Evangelou, senior economist and director of real estate research for National Association of Realtors, said, this increase is actually larger than the pre-pandemic historical average growth of 33% that typically occurs between March and February. This is another nudge towards a more normalized market, which hangs in a delicate balance. It may also be a signal of interest rate sensitivity, as many of these homes likely went under contract in late January through February while rates ranged in the low 6% range. March 2023 Median Sales Price, $375,700 Last month was the first month to break more than a decade, 131 months, of year-over-year -year appreciation. This month continues the trend with nearly 1% lower median sales price than the same time last year. Commenting on the March K. Schiller Price Index, Craig Lazara, Managing Director at S&P Dow Jones Indices, said, February's results were most interesting because of their stark regional differences. National Association of Realtors Chief Economist Lawrence Yun remarked, home prices continue to rise in regions where jobs are being added and housing is relatively affordable. However, the more expensive areas of the country are adjusting to lower prices. This falls in line with the National Association of Realtors and other housing industry economists' expectations at the start of the year that the country would see increasing regional differences this year compared to the past several years of a relatively homogeneous hot market. Current mortgage rates, a 30-year, fixed-rate mortgage was 6.39% as of May 4, 2023. Rates tempered during April, hovering roughly between 6.3% and 6.4%. Rates continue to impact the number of buyers and sellers in the market today. Given how elastic rates and sales are right now, meaning that the number of home sales is heavily impacted by interest rates, lower rates in April may signal strong sales, which we won't see in the data immediately. 
National Association of Realtors Chief Economist Lawrence Yun believes it's likely that rates will fall below 6% by the end of the year. Remember that the interest rates reported here are current, and the home sales data has a lag between when the sale occurred and when the data became available. Furthermore, there's a month or two lag between when a buyer goes under contract and when the home is sold. If we see a slowdown in sales from the early March spike in rates, it won't show up in the sales data for a few months. March 2023 Days on Market, 29 Days Days on Market dropped after 7 months of increases. Days on Market is also 11 days slower than the average for all of 2021, which was 18. It is important to note that historically speaking, a more balanced market would consider 29 days on market to be a healthy level, signaling a fairly quickly moving market. The average number of offers per listing was 3.2 up just slightly above 2.7 the previous month. A signal that while sales may be slower than normal, there's still competition. This month, the number of offers above asking price jumped notably from 16% in January to 28% in March. This is a great sign for sellers who may have feelings of regret for missing out on last year's market. Buyers may be encouraged by the fact that the number of offers is half what it was last year when 57% of all listings had offers over asking. The market has shown signs it's returning to normal, but that balance continues to be a delicate one right now. Trend Lines New Mortgage Pricing Structure On May 1, changes to the loan level price adjustments went into effect, impacting the upfront fees on loans backed by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Those fees are a factor of credit score, down payment, and type of home, among other things. This change applies to loans backed by Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, but excludes non-conforming, jumbo, and FHA loans. In an effort to increase the equitable and sustainable access to homeownership, per the original press release, to those who have historically been disadvantaged, borrowers with higher credit score and larger down payments may see an increase in fees. Critics state that taking this action when the housing market is precarious could move the market back from normalization. Some believe this is more a political move than an effort to create impactful changes. The inventory shortage and stark difference between supply and demand has fueled the rapid escalation in prices over the last several years. Price increases, combined with interest rate spikes, have impacted borrowers' monthly payments and with that, affordability. While this initiative will help some borrowers, increased supply of homes through new homes would likely go further to solving the underlying imbalances. Talk with your mortgage lender to learn more. Your actions as a buyer or seller. Buyers. Great news. Interest rates have eased and are more moderate right now. Buyers are taking advantage of the lower levels of competition, but that hangs in a delicate balance, and we're seeing more buyers entering the market. Prices have tempered, too. Year-over-year -year median home prices just fell for the second time in over a decade. Yet, inventory remains tight. You have a window to act right now where interest rates, prices, and competition levels are in your favor. If you're able to take advantage of that now, we can get you into a great home without having to fight to the front of the line. If we find the right house, wouldn't it be great to make the move while all these factors are in your favor? Sellers Timing the market is nearly impossible. The best we can do is read and react to the data available, and it's sending a clear message, if you're ready to sell, it's best to act now. With the continued levels of low inventory, listings that are well positioned, with a great mix of price and condition, sell quickly. Days on market is down by 5 whole days compared to the previous month, which means homes are selling faster. Sellers are getting 3.2 offers on average, that's the highest it has been in a while. Have your realtor run the numbers based on the market and see if that achieves your financial goals. If it does, consider acting now. Have questions? We're here to help. Our agents and staff members are professionals from diverse backgrounds and are dedicated to providing the highest quality service to our clients. Call our Frankfurt or Lexington offices or reach out to one of our real estate agents. To search for your new or next home or learn more about us, visit us at century21simpson.com. If you like this market watch, we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you'd like to be notified when the June 2023 market watch is available, be sure to click the bell icon. Please join us again next month.
Thanks for watching.